Dix Adam, my champion, champion of APPW Dynamite. Consider my attention had. I'm going to give you exactly what you want. And exactly what you want is the spotlight on Dynamite. And that's exactly what you're going to get. So, every week leading up to Summerfest, Styx Adam will be in the main event where he belongs of Dynamite. Now, my next order of business is addressing the Lexi in the room. I don't remember ever saying that she could ever come back to ringside. But instead, you guys decided to just do whatever you wanted. So, unfortunately, Lexi is going to have to be punished. And she's going to have to be punished by defending her newly won Money in the Stank briefcase on Dynamite tonight. And Styx, you can blame yourself for that. But there's so much more on tonight's Dynamite, so kick back. Crack open an ice cold slate chocolate milk and enjoy Dynamite for a better forever. couple of APPW. First, yours truly would go on to defend and beat Johnny Harmsway with America's Drip Heart by his side. But what's, what's not ignore the fact of what happened even before the match? Should we not, should we not gloss over the details, Jake? The man who is, both, who is the GM, who is supposed to be the man who sets an example for the champ show, which we know he doesn't, comes out and attacks the champ, which we all knew there was going to be some fuckery because it's Jake, a man of that size and ilk who just walks around in a white jumpsuit, he's going to pull some fuckery. I mean, there's a reason why they have his face on posters around playgrounds. He's not someone you can trust. And still, even with jumping the champ, even with still jumping me, I would go on to successfully defend my ABBW championship. And in my opinion, a pretty one-sided victory. I mean, it was, it was pretty, how's the word... The word escapes me. It, uh, it was 
it was pretty, let me, let me start. It was, it was pretty easy. Johnny, you tried and you failed. Now, I'm pretty sure Jake's going to lose your number and you will have to work your way back to the front of the line. Which, hey Johnny, you facing me again for this? God, what's the phrase I'm, I'm thinking of? You can forget about it! <laughs> now, later on that night, America's drip heart herself, Lexi, the woman who was the first ever APPW Dynamite Curtains Champion. One money in the stink. God, there's 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 not enough words in in the vocabulary that I could say about how great Lexi is. And unfortunately now tonight, by proxy of her Listening to the champ. You see, Jake had been banning her from Reside for some reason why. I don't know. Because she wants to stand by her man. She wants to be with the champ as she should be. She listened to me. I told her, Lexi, fuck Jake. Come out to come out to the ring with me. And so now tonight, she has to defend her money in the stank briefcase. Go figure. Jake is still messing with the first. The most drippiest couple, and at one time, and soon to be again, the golden couple of APPW. Jake quit fucking with the greatest couple to ever grace APPW. Because, Jake, bad things will happen. I mean, you're already abusing power, you're already trying to box. The, the greatest champion that this company has ever had. The, a champion that brought, that main evented the most watched premium live event in all of APPW. I, I, I think, I don't, I don't think the board would, would appreciate that if you keep abusing your power. I don't know. But maybe, maybe I will send a strongly worded email. Hmm. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. But at least you got one thing right, Jake. You put me in the main event tonight. The champ is where he rightfully belongs. The main event of his show, Dinah Drip. And that is in a match against Phil Lashio. Jake, why do you pick these people, pluck them from obscurity? I mean, yeah, Phil won a battle royal. Congratulations. But it's just a battle royal. And what is his prize? He gets to wrestle in a match against the greatest champion this company has ever had. Well, Phil, welcome to the big times, buddy. Tonight, you, Jake, APBW in all of professional wrestling will drip with the sticks blade. America's Drip Heart, straight out of Drip Island, getting punished for standing by her man, but she is the current Miss Money in the Stank.
apparently all violent punk rock ladies are from New York apparently I don't know I forgot to change it whatever the Sniz former plan B champion has yet another chance to turn her entire career around. with a storied career in APPW. Now has a shot of becoming Mrs. Money in the Spank. And if there's any woman who can make history, it's this young lady right here. known for her winning ways, but she is known for raising the dead, the sorceress, trying to resurrect her career, or at least begin to have one, she is evil personified, hoping to Get a dub, finally. All these women, great competitors in the Dynamite Women's Division. They now have the Plan B Championship back on a woman, oh, sort of. And the Dynamite Curtains Championship as well. That money in the stank briefcase. The perfect opportunity to capture gold. Apparently, uh, Mrs. Money in the Stank is being punished by, just because she was standing by her man, by the way, America's Drip Heart now must defend her Money in the Stank briefcase against three competitors. We got the Amazonian, we got the Sorceress, and we got the Spitfire. Now, I learned my lesson in the past, folks. This is a Falls Count Anywhere match, meaning anything goes. It's just, I'm not about to watch 40 minutes of outside action that I have to fucking edit out. Uh, but I mean, anything goes, so the stairs 
What, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't even get this. What? Are you serious? This match lasted a minute and ten seconds. Lexi <laughs> retains the money in the stake. Yeah, sticks. You beat me. Yeah, I wasn't at 100%. But that doesn't matter. You still won. You got the W. What I'm upset about is you sit there, you say, Jake this, Jake that. Jake's going to abandon me. Jake's going to abandon Johnny Harm's way. Well, let me show you how Jake has abandoned me. Why, I dry my tears with this $100 bill. Oh, man. And a match. Oh, man, I'm thirsty. I'm going to quench my thirst with a little... Slate chocolate milk. But let me tell you, sticks. Yeah, you made me drip with the sticks bleed. I'm bleeding. I got a wound that can only be healed by a championship belt. And you, you've changed me, man. You've awakened me. <laughs> yeah, you've awakened me, dude. And the only thing, the only thing that's left to do is bleed my own blood. And you're gonna taste this blood. You're gonna taste it, yeah. <laughs> and you can forget about it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are moving on for the number one contendership to the YouTube Championship. We've got six competitors here in the Battle Royal of Orange Cassidy. We have Mustafa Ali. We have Adam Sticks. The Great Gretzky. Masse. And Bad Ribby. I actually got everybody's names out before anyone was eliminated. That's got to be some kind of record. It's a six man battle royal. You just got to get launched over the top rope. The winner of this will have a shot at the Prince Fluence YouTube Champion. And of course, It'd be a damn shame if it was Ali keeping that damn title in the chin fluence. Look at this, Masse. Taking it to Bad Ribby. Orange Cassidy about to fly over the top rope for a go. Again, Orange Cassidy has the best luck in the universe. We could see Orange Cassidy go on if Masse. Doesn't throw his ass over the top rope. Look at that. Gretzky. Orange Cassidy immediately eliminates Masse of the Maximum Male Models. Uh, could, you know, Orange Cassidy could be the favorite to win this. Gretzky as well, but Bad Ribby. And Adam Sticks. Dark horses in this match. Of course, Ali, nothing to sneeze at as well. Bad Ribby. Of course, the man who will never go away. Ribby. Keeps getting reincarnated. And it looks like Ali could be in trouble, folks. Adam Sticks looking to throw his ass over the top rope. Bad Ribby in a dangerous position. Orange Cassidy and Bretzky. I wouldn't mind seeing Finn take on Orange Cassidy and Gretzky in a triple threat match for the YouTube Championship. That sounds like a good match, but I digress. The winner of this battle royal will get that shot indeed. It looks like Adam Sticks. I can't believe he's still in this, by the way. Taking it to Bad Ribby. Orange Cassidy just standing around. He needs to he needs to toss everybody over the rope as much as he can, but distracted. Ali, of course, thinking positive as ever. Still in this. Bad ribby. Oh man, how humiliating would it be to be eliminated by Bad Ribby? Or Adam Sticks. It's kind of it's a double-edged sword there, folks. And look 
is this? Orange Cassidy with a beach break on Adam Sticks. But of course, it's not a pinfall match. You have to toss your opponent over the top rope. Orange Cassidy and Ali. Bad Ruby and Gretzky. Or sadly, oh, the need to know basis. Gretzky, former YouTube champion. Ruby, former YouTube champion. Oh, Ali will not be moving on. We got Orange Cassidy, Adam Sticks, Bad Ribby, and Bretzky. One of these men has a date with the Prince Fluence. Bad Ribby. Oh, Panama Sunrise. Bretzky and Orange Cassidy, though. Bad Ribby with the backstabber. Had zero effect, though. Bretzky. Look at this. Straight out of Babson. Oh! Decapitating blow to Bad Ribby. He's right back up. What do you have to do to Ribby to keep this asshole down? He keeps getting resurrected through different musicians. God only knows who he's going to be in 2K24. It's probably going to be fucking... Um, DJ Khaled Ribby in 2024. Who knows? There we go. Bresky. Was trying to get Bad Ribby out, but Bad Ribby survives like a cockroach. Uh-oh, Bresky's in all kinds of trouble now. Bad Ribby could eliminate Bresky, a former everything champion. That would be very sad. And that's exactly what happened. Bad Ribby gets rid of Bretzky. Bad Ribby, of course, is aligned with Lord Jake himself. So again, perhaps another Tinfluence win if Bad Ribby is the number one contender, but Orange Cassidy will fight for his life. He is the master of good luck. AEW's international champion has defended it at least 20 times or some shit like that. And now up against Adam Sticks and Bad Ribby. Uh oh. Oh, he's getting a taste of his own medicine. Beach break to Orange Cassidy, but Adam Sticks. First, a doppelganger of Sticks Adam, the Sticks Blade. I don't believe he's ever won anything. This could be a uh, first time for something, folks. As Adam Sticks, Orange Cassidy, and Bad Ribby are the final three in this battle royal. Bad Ribby fighting his way. Good Lord, that would be terrible. Oh, look at that. Orange Cassidy showing why. He's the master of good luck and a beach break number two. The bad ribby. Adam Sticks. He's feeling it, folks. He's feeling it tonight. Adam Sticks. Could he eliminate Orange Cassidy? That would be a massive upset. If it came down to bad ribby. And Adam Sticks, folks. It looks like it's going that way. Look at this. Bad Ribby. Nice. He calls it the Artery Destroyer. And now look at the acrobatics of Bad Ribby. Orange Cassidy in the corner trying to catch his breath. Bad Ribby in complete control. I never thought I'd ever say those words in my life. And now Bad Ruby going for a ride. Double underhook suplex. Orange Cassidy busts open Bad Ruby. Did you want some extra? Did you want those Ribbies extra rare? Because it looks like we got a Stixie Death Trip Machine. 
But look at this. Adam Sticks for short. Diving leg drop to Orange Cassidy. One of these three men has a date with the Prince Lewis. Bad Ribby. Of course, lost immediately to Lord Jake and a Money in the State qualifier. Of course, that matches bullshit. But Bad Ribby now has the opportunity to go after the YouTube Championship. Adam Sticks is taking it to Bad Ribby. This could be it for Bad Ribby. Never mind. Why did Orange Cassidy stop that? I have no idea. Look at Orange Cassidy with the disrespect to Adam Sticks. Oh my god. I thought Bad Ruby and Adam Six would be the first two eliminated. Boy, was I wrong. And now Bad Ruby. And Orange Cassidy. Oh! Adam Six in no man's land. But Bad Ruby has his goal set. This is a very dangerous move to do when you're trying to throw somebody over the top rope. Bad Ribby risking it all to take down Orange Cassidy. We didn't see Bad Ribby trying this hard when he fought Lord Jane. But I digress. Russian leg sweep from Orange Cassidy. But look at Orange Cassidy. Taking it to the arm of Bad Ribby. Funny how the first three got eliminated immediately. And now the last three has taken, taken quite a while. Is Adam Sticks. Oh! Are they targeting the arm so they can't hold onto the ropes when they get thrown over the top rope? That's the only thing I can think of. We're getting a Stixy Death Drip machine to Bad Ribby! That's all she wrote, folks. All he has to do now is toss Bad Ribby over the top rope with ease. Oh, look at this. The Dallas Cowboys fan with a waffle to lapo. But he didn't capitalize, but it looks like Orange Cassidy has just capitalized. The man with the rabbit's foot up his ass is about to win and face the Prince Lewis! Congratulations to Orange Cassidy! Wait a minute, what the, what? what? Wait, this just happened backstage, folks. This is Officer Winslow. Officer Winslow has been taken out backstage. I don't understand why. Can we employ security? First the sheriff and now Officer Carl Winslow. Are they getting too close to something? Individual entrances for JH and Marco Stunt. Zero chemistry here. And very suspicious what happened earlier.
right, folks. Randall was looking for a new tag team partner, and he found one in the resurrected Edge. These two are the current reigning APPW Tag Team Champions, believe it or not. We have questions, folks. Rando is, a, is apparently able to summon very strange partners. And tonight, they're defending against the former Tag Team Champions. Just as confused as you are, ladies and gentlemen. J.H. hits a Lariat immediately. It's a two count. The Tag Team Championships have been so bizarre lately. We're getting a butt meat elbow already. Could the match end this early? J.H. wants those tag titles back. I don't think J.H. cares who his tag team partner is. And this is obvious. JH defines the tag team championship. That's been his his biggest success in APPW has been the tag team championships. And he is determined to regain them. Look at little Marco holding up his end of the deal. Breaker delivered by JH and now little Marco tagged in. Edge looking for the hot tag. Could it get it? He could get it because Marco's fucking around like an idiot. Oh, get the hell out of here. A jump kick by Marco. Is Edge really in danger of losing? Why is Marco Stunt even allowed to be in this building? If Rando and Edge lose, that's going to be the stupidest thing of all time. JH might get personalized tag belts if he wins them again. He's won them so many times. With Nicholas, Marco, Tank Chris. Oh! Marco gets speared out of his soul. And JH comes in to save the day. Unfortunately, this is a regular tag team match. Whereas the Finding Fuji Tag Team Championships are defended Tornado Tag Rules. Yeah, of course. Of course, that's going to happen. Will Marco tap immediately, hopefully? 
No, nope. Marco's still alive somehow. After getting speared twice, Marco's still alive. Nobody has really talked to Edge. I haven't even got to talk to Beth. I haven't talked to Beth. We don't know what's happening. The last time we saw Edge, he was motionless. He wasn't breathing. We had a funeral for Edge. And here he is. Unless the sorceress had something to do with this, we are very confused. JH. Of course, uh, he's being investigated by the sheriff and Carl Winslow. But suspiciously, Carl Winslow was laid out earlier. He was attacked and bloodied. Uh, and we all saw what JH did to the sheriff at Money in the Stank. So I'm going to try and get an interview with him next week. See if he can explain his actions. Because, yeah, the two detectives assigned to uh, investigate the whereabouts of the Blue Blazer have been taken out. And yet, J.H. is here. He's in this tag title match. So, yeah, again, very suspicious. Rando and Edge are doing... Oh, my God. Incredible teamwork here. This is their... Their first tag team match, Edge was, Edge was just handed the tag title. And he's a tag team specialist already. So very smart decision on Rando's part to recruit Edge. Who just speared the bejesus out of J.H. But Marco Stunt has the speed to save the day, which he just did. But Edge is saying, what the fuck? as Rando is tagged back into this match. JH foolishly is going to tag Marco Stunt back in, who's severely injured. Rando, this could be a layup for Rando if he can get a submission. We got a hammerlock suplex by Rando. Marco Stunt is all kinds of beat up already. We'll see what happens though. The tag titles are on the line. This is the first effort from the team of Resurrect. Oh, Resurrection. Marco bloodied. Edge is making sure that Marco is bloodied. I mean, what else does Edge have to do to put the nail in the coffin of Marco Stunt here? Well, it looks like we're, we're about to find out a Canadian Destroyer. Marco's in trouble, folks, but J.H. flies over to save him. If there's anybody who knows tag teams, it's Edge and J.H. They're both, I, got, I hate to say it, but it's true, they're tag team specialists. Look at this, Edge, very smart. This is exactly what I'm saying as a tag team specialist. Edge took out JH. All he has to do now is spear Marco and get the pin. And it's over. JH is still stunned. Oh, nice, a spear and a clothesline. Randall just needs to pin him and it's over. Before JH can regain his composure, but I don't think that's going to happen. What is Rando doing? Rando... Derek, oh, Marco countered whatever he had. Marco Stunt is still alive, folks. I'm shocked, too. Marco, for sure the weak link, is still alive. My phone just said I have 20% life left. Rando once again is gonna hit the same move. Yo, he, he tried twice and he failed twice. 
Marco Stunt. Now is going to tag JH back in, which is a smart move. But Randall is now in trouble. Double back body drop. Are we going to see new tag champs again? I mean, it's sad and possible. Coors Crusher. He doesn't go for the pinfall attempt. Okay, he does now. But of course, Edge is going to break this up. Hopefully my phone has enough battery life to cover this repetitive shit. JH is going to keep pinning. And Edge is going to keep breaking it up. Yep. There we go, folks. Where is JH going? He's Oh, here's the damn steps. I knew it. I knew these fucking steps would come into play. The steps coming into play in this tag title match. <laughs> he just threw him on Marco. <laughs> Did he just kill his own partner? The JH killed his own partner. The disrespect. Well, I, you know what? I actually appreciate that, JH. Sidewalk slam to Rando. JH took out his own tag partner. I don't think JH cares about winning. I think he wants to hurt Rando. Very bitter. Look at that, a drop kick to the back. That's not going to be a hot tag. That's a hot mess. As now JH is down. I mean, Marco's fair game. Rando is going to try for the third time. The third time can he hit it. Yes, he hit it. And for the retain, it's resurrection. What the hell? Is is Marco stunt the devil? Like, how is he alive? Come on, Edge, take him out. Oh, boy. Edge, come on. You've been resurrected and you're getting beat down by this little midget. Edge with a... No, Marco's countering. You gotta be kidding me, folks. Chop block to Edge. The rated R superstar is getting beaten down by the Muppet Baby. Oh, a Pele kick. And look at him, he's focusing on Rando now. Rando is not having it. Rando is not afraid, but he gets hung up anyway. Oh my God, Marco Stunt. This is, this is some bullshit, folks. Edge and Marco are fighting. There are no count out, no DQ. This is a title match. I'm over here trying to eat beef jerky. Right, folks. Ten cunts is disgusted that this is happening. You have got to be kidding me. There is no way JH is gonna win this damn tag match. tag titles again. We might as well just retire the tag titles. You gotta be kidding me, folks. Get the hell out of here. Oh my god.
Way to book a show, Jake. This is this is amazing. What the hell is happening here? Shocking the world at Money in the Stank. The GameStop man returned to win the Plan B Championship. And now we're gonna see what it can do versus another champ. The fan favorite, the second ever Dynamite Curtains champion, Godzilla Gwyn. We have not heard from her in a while, but she is still here. Facing off against something, possibly her greatest challenge ever. Don't call him sir, call him ma'am. So this is a very interesting concept. We have champion versus champion, and the winner of this match gets a shot at the, uh, their opponent's championship if they win. So this is gonna be uh, very interesting because in the future, we could possibly have a woman's double champ, which we haven't seen since Queen Hillary was Queen of the Ring champ and APBW Women's champ. We could see another double champ in existence, folks. GameStop Mam is the Plan B champ. Godzilla Gwynn, the Dynamite Curtains champion. We shall see what happens tonight. Seems like it's, oh, disrespectful slap. Godzilla Gwen, of course, could be working the emotions of the GameStop man. Slapping her around. GameStop man is the Terry Funk. Godzilla Gwen is the Terry Funk of ABBW. GameStop Man is the James Ellsworth of ABBW. Here we go, folks. She's, uh oh. GameStop Man with the hell of a powerbomb. 
to Godzilla Gwen. She's in trouble, folks. GameStop man. That's a two count. Could you imagine if GameStop man gets on a two win streak? Godzilla Gwen had to go through table matches, regular matches, to establish where she's at now, whereas GameStop Mam had a lot of assistance from JH to take out the Sheriff to get the Plan B Championship. I turned those off, but Godzilla Gwen got it. And I'm fine with that. Godzilla Gwen, the Terry Funk of APPW, showing her veteran instincts, getting the rope break. Whereas GameStop Man showing her lack of experience, showboating on the apron. And Godzilla Gwen's gonna teach GameStop Man a thing or two. Oh, Godzilla Gwen. Tough. Like I said, the, the man with the strength. Look at this. Uh-oh. She's feeling it, folks. Godzilla Gwen. Feeling it. Twerk. Look at her. Godzilla Gwen. She's all jacked up on Mountain Dew, folks. Take it down to ma'am. And a pinfall attempt. Will Godzilla Gwen get a shot? No. Sadly, I actually crossed the path. With the GameStop man backstage, which she's being tied into a tripod pretzel and a bruised brown eye for what else yeah. Godzilla Gwen goes for the pinball attempt and the win in this match. It's a two count. Sadly, GameStop man is way too tough. Way too tough and oh boy. There we go. GameStop man is about to bring the punishment. <laughs> Oh boy, what is she about to do to Godzilla? Glad I mean to the face, my God, how brutal. This could spell the end of Godzilla Gwen. What is the man having? Oh, drop dumping her on her head. This could be it for Godzilla Gwen. Oh no. I tried talking to her backstage. She said, don't call me ma'am. I'm APPW's mammy. Disgusting. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we have reached our main event and apparently I'm being punished for a previous life or something. I'm still serving out crimes because, unfortunately, I'm being joined by the dynamite GM himself, Lord Jake, for the main event. Hello, Good Lord Jake. E Good evening, Ten Cunts. I can't believe you're still employed. Is that a new cologne you're wearing? Is that Arby's Meat Mountain you're wearing? That's incredible. Well, I mean, I get a lifetime supply since I work for APBW. Uh, by the way, you're welcome. By the way, if you're going to be sitting in with matches, can you let me know so we can replace me with uh, with uh, oh, what was his name? Jason Atlas. He can do the commentary if you're going to be joining and you can do commentary with them to, to spare me. OK, to spare me. I if you have the lifetime contract that APBW has given you, you have to deal with me. Sorry. <sighs> Anyway, well, regardless, Jake, it's been, I got to hand it to you. It's been a hell of a night so far. Uh, shocking title changes. Lexi survived the onslaught. Excuse me? What? Loopy, what the fuck are you doing here? Uh, oh, thanks. I thought she was at the Big Brunch Cantina. Anyway. Who even oh, let her in the building? I, I guess she was cleaning the restrooms. I'm not sure. I did I did blow it up earlier. Okay. Oh, shit. This is from the the board of directors. What? An emergency email that was printed out. It says from the desk of the APBW board of directors, due to abuse of power, the board held an emergency vote on adjusting the plans leading up to Summerfest. And it was five to six, a five to one vote in favor 
of what we're about to say because Jake's mom was the one who turned it down. I'm not sure how your mom got on the board of directors, Jake. This this is I some, paid a lot of people off. Don't worry. This is some fuckery part. right here. But of the six members, only one voted to turn this down. So we had heard your message earlier and saw what you put Alexis Drippy through. That's her full name, Alexis. That's Drippy. a terrible name. That's Sick. a really awful name. We're on here. Uh, with Alexis Lexi being successful, she will no longer have to defend her briefcase. If Sticks Adam is victorious in his main event tonight, he will no longer have to defend the APPW Championship weekly. He mm. will defend at Summer's Fest, however. Also, Sticks will be the guest GM for next week's Dynamite. Wow, this is going to make sitting with you a little more easier. Sorry. Abuse of power? Abuse of power? The board of directors, they're abusing their power right now. They don't know how to run a company. I do. And I know that this is what's best for business. Sticks at him in the spotlight. That's what's best for business. Defending his championship. Well, Lord Jake, let's go ahead and kick off this main event. What's Now the stakes have become even higher. Not only the championship, but... Apparently, Sticks' is future. We're kicking it off in three, two, one. this specimen look at this incredible ladies man look at the you know he's been a bit of a menace backstage because of the battle royal he won but another thing he did you think alexa got pregnant uh, from ryan cabrera soft meat dick no she made direct eye contact with phil lacio and that's how she got pregnant oh that's how you say his name phil lacio I see yeah. it. saying it a little yeah. wrong. Apologies to Mr. Lacio. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully you can get it correct now because this is the next big thing in APPW right here. No disrespect to Sticks as Sticks' his entrance here, but that dude's really been letting the inward he's been taking advantage of that inward pass, Lord Jake. What the hell were you thinking? Well, listen, Caesar, the GM of Sunday Night Skeet came to me and said, who do you want to put in here? So I picked some top stars and Phil, Phil was the one and clearly he was the chosen one. That's right, folks. Earlier, he said it was easy to take down Johnny Harmblade, but now the Stickblade faces a new challenger, someone he's never faced before. This is a first time ever matchup with not only the future of Sticks' championship, but the future of what Sticks is going to be doing within the next couple of weeks. Because I have to guess, Lord Jake. If Phil Lacio is victorious, he could be in title contention because he already has a shot at the future Chicken and Waffles Championship, if I believe, you know, if that was the rules for the N-Word Battle Royal. I mean, tonight was supposed to be a championship matchup anyway, but the board of directors had to step in and ruin everything and ruin my plans going forward. But Sticks wanted the spotlight. I was going to give him the spotlight. And now things have gone south. But it's okay. Phil, he's the one to take down Sticks at him. I know it. Well, he hasn't had too many matches, but this is going to be a hell of a mountain to climb for Mr. Lacio. 
finally saying it right. The noise. He is representing Dynamite. So you got to imagine Lord Jake is at least happy that this man is putting Dynamite on the map. Still the longest reigning champion currently in APPW. The Sticks play here to put it up on the line one more time against Phil Lacio. This ought to be a hell of a match. I will never take anything away from Sticks. He's one of the greatest champions we have in APPW. But he just seems to not like how I run things, and I don't seem to understand that myself, because, man, I, I put him in the spotlight just like he wanted. Well, Lord Jake, making the man defend his title every week. I mean, it's got to be taxing on an individual. I mean, it seems like it seems like you want him to lose the championship because you're putting all these challenges in front of him. Who said that was what I was going to do? No! I said I was going to put him in the main event every week. Whether the title was on the line, that who knows? I don't know. But right now, he's just... It's just how it is. He's in the spotlight. This is what he wanted. This is so, what he's been asking for. So, okay, sticks is one thing. But to bully Lexi, try, threatening to take her briefcase away, banning her from ringside, I mean, the, together they are Drip Island, but now they're just in individual matches. They can't even beat by each other. Wait a minute. What, what, what the hell? What? Jake the Snake! Where the hell has he been? Jake is he the even Snake alive? Why is Jake the Snake interrupting the main event? And former what? APPW champion? Jake the Snake! The ref is right there! The master! The disqualify the man! What? What is going on? Is the ref not disqualified? This is, that should have been a DQ, but the What are we doing here? What kind of company are we running? Sticks is taking advantage of the distraction. This better not. Okay. Thank God. Got a two and a half. What the hell is Jake the Snake's problem? Oh, I'm going to have words with that man. I'm going to Oh, Jake the Snake. I'm going to have words with him. I can't believe Jake the Snake Roberts is back in APPW and he slid through the cracks of dynamite. It must have been the meat sweats lube he got a hold of because now Jake the Snake has his sights set on Phil Lacio, Jake. That slithery little son of a bitch, I am offended that I have to share a name with him. The sticks blade just busted open Phil. He's in all kinds of trouble. The champ is going off on Phil. Ripcord knee. Good <sighs> bitch, he's covered in blood. Come on, a rope break. We need a oh, rope break or something. There it is. He's, he's grabbing break. the rope. Oh, what are we doing? Minute. What are we doing here? Ref, what, what is this? The ref did not see the rope break, Jake. Unbelievable, I saw it. Phil deserves his rematch. I can't believe it, Styx. Not only has he retained, but he will be the death GM on next week's Dynamite. Jake, what do you have to say? This show is going to hell. Congratulations to the Styx play. This is a nightmare.